Hi, my name is Malkin Pierce. I was one of the heads of animation on Riot and the Last Dragon. Um, today I'm going to show you how to draw Baby Tuk Tuk. Okay, so we'll start by drawing Tuk Tuk's head. Then after that, we'll rough in his body. And we'll try to keep it simple and build on, go from kind of a simple um, structure to more complex as we go, just to make it easy to change things as we evolve the drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna start by drawing Tuk Tuk's head, just the general shape. I'm just gonna kind of draw this oval, and I'm drawing it at an angle like this because I want him to have this head tilt. And um, ovals and circles are great, uh, just basic shapes, but I like to start adding some straight lines here and there just to or soft curved lines, just to kind of lock down some points of reference. And so for Tuk Tuk, I'm gonna do a little bit of like a shape kind of like this, where I'm kind of, you know, the, the simple version would be that or the most clear. And that's kind of his basic head shape, really basic. And then, with that, I'm gonna draw a little nose, and this is gonna be kind of the two big pieces I need to set up kind of the relative relationships to the parts of the face, like the eyes and the brows and stuff like that. So now I wanna think about the expression, and he's gonna be smiling, so those lower lids are gonna be kind of pushed up by the cheek, so they might be a little flatter because they're gonna be more tense. And I'm gonna draw these upper lids really round and bright, very happy. Um, and now I'm thinking about how those brows are gonna to relate to the eyes. And I want them to be really happy and um, not feel like he's worried or scared or anything. So I'm gonna draw those brows kind of nice and high and, and arched. And I like to play, like if this is the eye here, I like to, kind of continue the rhythm of that shape with brows oftentimes. So I'll, I'll keep them re relating to one another in a way that they kind of echo the shape. And then for his eye direction, I think Tuk Tuk looks really like Tuk Tuk, Tuk, Tuk whenever he's kind of looking off to the side because he's, he is such a, a curious uh, character. It's nice to have him somewhat distracted sometimes or trying to figure out what something off off camera might be. And now I want to think about <clears throat> the mouth shape and you know you can just think about this kind of upside down triangle. Um, I'll normally kind of put these little dots to, to signify where those mouth corners are and then Tuk Tuk has this little bit of a reverse in his smile so instead of just one smile like that it's kind of down and you know this is like the again the extreme version something like that but you feel it more than you see it and then I'm gonna add a little tooth there it's kind of fuck teeth and then I'm just gonna add his mouth nice and open and I'm just gonna start to rough in some dark areas in the drawing just to kind of draw focus on his eyes and his expression. Um, added his nostrils. So that's kind of the basic building blocks of Tuk Tuk's face. And I'm gonna, he's a little furry, kind of, there are these tucks of fur that come off of his, or tufts of fur, tucks of fur, come off of his cheeks, kind of insinuate that. And now I just wanna go in and sort of lock down some of these shapes. Now that I'm happy with where they're sitting. And then the last big part of Tuk Tuk are these little antennas here. These little, he's got these little plates on his back and some of that scaling kind of carries over through his face there. All right, now I'm gonna start thinking about his shell. 
And if I'm just gonna rough this overall shape out, it's kind of like a dome. He's gonna be sitting on the ground, so something like that will probably work. And then um, his legs are gonna come down from underneath. His expression like that, something like that. And then his back legs are gonna be kind of sitting on the ground like that. So I'm just roughing in these shapes. So kind of some triangular rectangles. Is that a, you ever heard that term before? And then <laughs> a couple of ovals for just really roughing in some toes kind of three general shape ovals and then the biggest one being in the middle is kind of the important part to that and then i'm going to just kind of give him a ground to sit on and so that feels like proportionally that's going to work and so that, now i'm just going to kind of go in here and identify these shapes a little bit more strategically it's kind of the outside of the leg and then this is the other leg so it kind of comes down and in front of him, and then he's got these big soft paws with these little claws. So I'm just drawing these ovals, and these little ovals in here for his for his claws. And these shapes don't have to be perfect. I mean, it's really about the essence of the character more than about kind of a photo real drawing. You just want to be able to kind of feel the personality of the character, and that's that's the most important part of the drawing, I think. So now that I've got this front legs in there, I'm gonna think about these back legs. So I'm gonna draw another circle for the pad of the foot, and then I'm gonna draw these three toes over here again. Middle toe being the larger shape. Kind of roughing them in here like that, connecting those shapes together, and then adding a little bit of a bump on top for his claws. And then adding another circle within that for his the pads of his feet. Now he's got these big feet. I don't know if you've ever seen a puppy's foot or a, a baby animal's foot. Normally their feet are, they don't really fit them and they kind of, they grow into their feet. And I think that's part of the, the charm of t little baby Tuck Tuck is these giant feet and hands and his big eyes. So same idea, you know, basically we're looking at a big circle and three small ones. And then I'm kind of just drawing the bigger circles around those, you know, like that. And that's kind of really kind of all you need. <clears throat> and now we're gonna talk about his shell. So he's got this one shell or this plate that kind of covers this top of his head that kind of just peeks out, something like that, like a little visor. You can draw little circles in there for some details. And then there's a plate right behind this and it's kind of, kind of a bell shape so it's you want to think about you know you don't want to think about just a circle you kind of want to think about this kind of shape with these little edges and then his head kind of fits in here and that's going to be this shape here so i'm just gonna try and rough that in something like that and then they kind of the pattern sort of repeats after that and gets bigger and bigger. So I'm just gonna try and identify this arc and then sort of insinuate that they're wrapping around and that's repeating as you go down. It's a little messy and I actually like that because I feel like you're gonna, the eye's gonna be drawn to the most put together part of the drawing, which in this case is its face. So I think the farther I guess a rule of thumb maybe that I think about is the farther you get away from the eyes and I'll include the hands in there too, because I think the hands and feet are really expressive, the looser you can, you can have the drawing because it's, it's the overall gesture of the body, but really it's, it's the eyes and the expression on the face and the hands that are going to give you the emotion of the character. And so I think it's nice just to try and emphasize that in your drawing by having the most tied down or, or detailed parts of your drawing be where you wanna have the person looking at the artwork looking. And so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and shade in so the pads on the feet, give them some little bit of variation in there. Um, I like to use the side of the pencil here and there just to 
get a little bit of variation in there. And then he's got these, you know, I almost forgot. He's got these little bumps on top of his shell. You can think about these like traction. These give him traction whenever he's, you know, hauling through the desert with Raya on him. Um, there is his, his equivalent to the all-terrain tire. This little traction beats. And then you can kind of lock down this drawing by giving him a little shadow, maybe on the ground. But there you have it. It's baby Tuk Tuk. Thanks for checking it out.